takes the appropriate body substance isolation precaution, performs the appropriate patient assessment for scenario. Sorry, it's um, you feel gonna this? cover yeah, any yeah. open wound with a sterile, sterile dressing and controlled bleeding, support the fracture during the process. That's right. We will say it's her right humerus. Go ahead and support the fracture with gentle traction. Um, check and record status of circulation, movement, sensation, distal to the fracture site. The first DMT would straighten it. Any severe angulation with gentle long, longitudinal traction above and below the fracture site and remain stabilization until the splint is applied and fixed by the second EMS provider. You would remove any rings or jewelry from the infected extremity. They would place a padded rigid splint on the lateral aspect of the arm to maintain alignment and secure with bandage or any craft. Tying the cravat to the board. Okay. You would apply a wrist sling and swath to the injured arm to hold the arm in place. Elevate the hand and immobilize the shoulder. Okay. You would check and record status of circulation, movement, and sensation. Frequently, fingers. loosen the splint if necessary to maintain circulation. Transport patient in sitting or semi-sitting position as the patient's condition permits. 